like username means for example we have some email id that at the rate gmail.com for example gmail is the domain there and com is nothing but top level domain also right those kind of email id validation you want to do you can do and this is just going to create a reports sql name sql name is name report like this and the match preparation stages okay, i'll show you everything okay, i'll create these kind of jobs and these kind of jobs i'll give you you can also practice in your missions survive household match okay populate customer and finally after developing these all the jobs generally that we are going to put these all the jobs into sequence this kind of sequence we are going to put and we are going to we will discuss about this quality stay around one week plus time investigation stage and standardization stage how to write our own rules match stage survival stage ABA stage data rules stage the other stage also we will discuss then we will go for IBM information server administrator this IBM information server administrator is in this one we will discuss about developer clients like a designer director and information server manager this, uh, this kind of few clients which are required for development part and we will discuss about admin part and we will also discuss about the web console this version is not supporting this browser I need to install maybe latest browser see this browser is actually because this actually one whatever we have here this is nothing but a web based uh, client that's what okay we need to open through browser when you open we need to have latest browser I think uh, this mission right now has old browser I'll install you can just start uh, download and install latest browser like Internet Explorer maybe Mozilla or maybe anything so anyway now any browser latest browser will support this we can open through web, web UI what we are going to discuss in the web UI means in information server administrator we are going to have a IBM info sphere I mean data state administrator opening the IBM information server setting out the project console customization of the project dashboard setting up the security creating the users in the console other in the security rules and users and groups Managing the activity sessions, logs, scheduling activities, backup and restore. For example, server crash is there. Then admin need to take a backup, right? And then he also need to restore when server is up. The all the things we are going to take care of the information server administrator. Apart from these, all development and uh, admin part and quality stage and data stage basics. We will also discuss about uh, a project, completely a project we are going to discuss. This project will take around 10 days. It is not like one hour or two hours explanation. We will explain about the project only in, in our course, 10 days, daily one, one and a half hour. What we are going to discuss in the project? It is a completely live project. It is not like okay, dummy project or something. We will explain completely live project. That is project architecture. First, we will start project architecture and BRD discussion. BRD is missing business requirement documents. Let me just show you. I am just opening a one project document. See, these are project documents also. These are the project documents I'll share you. This is the code, code of the project. Okay. The code also I'll share you. You can just import into your mission. You can also practice see this one and this one. I'm just opening one document here. See, this is the one of the technical specification document for project. Okay, I'll also explain how to I mean develop a job based on these technical specification documents. And what kind of I mean tech specs we are having. See, this is the tech tech spec. This text spec we are having here, having a source, staging area, and warehouse table. Because from source where to warehouse, we are not going to load in a single job. We have different phases: source, then staging area, then data warehouse load. We are having source in information is there, staging area information is there. Then warehouse is also available. So all we are going to specify, it will go to process. And how to develop a job based on this kind of specs? 
okay we are also having is jobs such a kind of project jobs also there just a minute this is the project jobs actually okay we'll also explain project completely not like a small or basic See, these are kind of jobs we are going to develop actually in our projects. I'm just showing you how to develop these kind of jobs in projects based on tech specs. What kind of sources will come? What kind of I mean, targets will be there? How to write logics? Small, small logics. What are we required as per the business requirement? See, the business requirement shows some logics here. Some places it shows uh, direct require direct mapping. Direct mapping means simply cut paste copy paste kind of thing sometimes we are having some logics substring logics and some null null value null assigning null values uh, default null values okay all the uh, null checks we have nulls are not these are the checks we are going to do. Uh, this project explanation itself will take around uh, completely a week time uh, at the time of this project explanation, before that, we I'll share you completely those project documents, and I'll start with the project architecture explanation, business requirement documents. Then we'll go for the dimensional data modeling and the fact tables uh, schemas explanation. What is the dimension table? What is the fact tables available in this project? What kind of schema we are having? And then we are going for the flow of subject area discussion, design of HLD and LLD. For a project, high level design and low level designs, project job flow, complex job discussion means some of the complex situations you should know. Let me just show you one complex situation. See, this is the situation I'm just opening. Sorry, sorry. Not this one. This one. Okay, this is the one business case where we have some complex situation on the same project. I'll explain those kind of business cases, how to get these business cases, what kind of validations we are going to see. This is the requirement, primary requirement of the file validations. This kind of requirement document we will also receive. Based on the requirement document, you are going to develop a tech jobs. I'll explain you how to create those kind of complex job discussion and then we'll go for testing. Testing in the sense, um, Everything I'll show you with the documents, as well as uh, completely on data stay environment also. Like how to do the testing. Testing means system testing, user action testing, regression testing, end-to-end -end testing, and unit testing. Unit testing means generally the developer will do. System action testing and regression testing, these will be do by ETL testers. But at the time of ETL testers are doing those, you also need to help them to understand the flow of your job. And uh, you also need to give some kind of KT and how we are going to have acceptance of those things if they got any defect they just going to allocate to us what kind of defects we are going to have and how to achieve those defects also we will discuss and then we are going to go for the deployment of code how we are going to have a deployment process for our code and creating our job design document, ORI document, tech specs, production support process See, once development is done code will be moved into production environment before production we also have UAT and other testing environments also once all testings are done our code completely will move to production environment. In production, we are not going to develop any new jobs. Existing jobs are running in production server. We need to monitor those jobs closely, how those are populating the data, what type of data we are populating those things. That we are going to have a production support process. And we also have Unix scripting for automating the code. What kind of Unix script we are having. Uh, we are going to write some kind of, some kind of scripts also. I will explain around 10 scripts for validation scripts. A batch failure scripts, batch start date scripts, end date scripts, and we also having a error throwing out script, mail notification scripts, project validation script. There are so many unit scripts we are also going to use. How to write those scripts, how to execute, I will also explain. And discussion of some basic scheduling tools like control and autosys. Uh, this I am not show you, I mean I am not able to show you directly on live, but I will explain okay, how we are going to have a process and then we will also go for the what kind of issues will come in production environment, what kind of tickets will come, how to handle those tickets, what kind of complex tickets we handle. Okay, those I will explain directly in a mission. So all we are going to discuss in our class and along with that okay the project may be on banking or insurance or healthcare. 
and I will also provide certification help. You can clear your certification on data state 9.1 or 8.7. I'm working on 9.1. I'm also certified 9.1 employee in my company, and I'll provide those certification stuff. You can clear certification, and we'll also explain about performance tuning, and data state installation and process setup will be taken care of admin. They install in your mission, and they'll also provide software to you. And we'll also provide plenty of materials which covers data processing fundamentals, class PPTs, class materials, data stage materials, Unix concepts, shell scripting, and database knowledge, provided related document, they all will be provided to you. This entire session will take around 45 to 50 hours of duration. Uh, we'll take daily one and a half hour, one to one and a half hour, depends on our uh, all other all people flexibility. After class completion, every day you are going to get those class recordings. You can just listen. You can come up with the questions on the next class as well. That's all what we are going to discuss in our sessions. In our 45 to 50 days, 50 not days. Sometimes okay, it's going to extend also. But I'll always plan to try to complete on time. But it will going to be five to six days extension. Sometimes in case of we are having some urgent works in my offices those times. Otherwise we'll try to finish. Okay. Every day after class completion you'll get recording. Does anyone having any question? I've got so lot of I'm able GB to and I'm planning to upgrade it to four but to L core processor will meet hardware requirements. Up to four G B you can install only data say eight point five. You are not able to install data say eight point seven. At least you need 6 GB or 8 GB, then only you can go for this, uh, let us say 8.7 and 9.1, if you want to go for latest versions like 8.7 and 9.1, you need to have high-end uh, configurations. I'm just showing you my mission, I have um, 32 GB configuration, of RAM, this is a server actually, from server I'm taking this class, uh, then it's not a problem, we can install 8.7 and 9.1, but uh, at least 8.7 we required uh, 6 GB or 8 GB. Uh, 9.1 or 8.7 if you want, you need to go for 8, 8 more GB or else you can go for VMware. Uh, remote we don't have, we don't have access to due to remote. Right, we'll, we'll provide every document. I'm showing you one second. Just these are the materials I'm going to provide. Modeling documents, control room documents, class PPTs. These are the class PPTs we are having. Projects. Okay. This is all we will uh, provide you. What is the use of Unix in the sense? Because data stay engines are we are going to install on Unix machines. As we are going to install engines on Unix machines, we are going to access those uh, Unix servers to run our jobs. Uh, the main sources which we are going to work in companies even uh, is the main sources are, are like uh, databases and slot files, XML files, those we are going to get. Data stage we are going to install client and server. It's a client and server, right? Server we are going to install in Unix. As we are going to install server machines on Unix, server software on Unix, to access that server, you are going to use Unix and what? Because that's a Unix operating system. To move a file, to delete a file, and to see the log of your data state job running on server. So all the things we are going to see on Unix, if you want to see that one on Unix, that Unix box, uh, if you want to access means you need to have Unix commands. Not only basic commands, we are going to write some script or shell scripts also. Those scripts we need to write. Okay, let me just show you what kind of scripts. Yeah. See, see, there are scripts actually. I'll explain around 10 scripts how to write and how to execute those scripts also. 